Nutrition is not just about food. It can actually affect how your brains function. And depending on what you want to create, if you want to amp up the nervous system, or if you want to calm it down, you're going to use different nutritional strategy. For example, uh, if you have two amino acids that are very important when it comes to neurotransmitters, tyrosine, which will be transferred into dopamine, which amps you up, and tryptophan, which is going to be transformed into serotonin, which calms you down. So if I want to be amped up, if I want to be competitive, driven, I want to increase dopamine as much as possible and favor the absorption of tyrosine. And if I want to calm myself down, reduce the stress, reduce the anxiety, I want to increase serotonin, so favor tryptophan. When I eat proteins, what I have in my stomach has a great impact on if I favor tyrosine or tryptophan for absorption and transport to the brain. If I have more carbs, I will favor the absorption of tryptophan, increasing serotonin. If I have more proteins and fats, I will favor the absorption of tyrosine, which will increase dopamine, amping me up. So that's why when I train athletes, the meals prior to training normally are low carbs so that they will stay amped up. I will have carbs around the workout, like a shake during the workout, but the meals before, they are low carbs. And afterwards, that's where we put the carbs, when the athletes need to whoom, calm their brain down so that they can rest and recover. In the evening, that's where I put my carbs. So when I work with an athlete or a client, carbs are mostly after the workout and in the evening to relax. And the meals prior are, are high protein, moderate fat to maximize tyrosine and amp themselves up. So there's nothing worse than taking a huge amount of carbs before a football or a hockey game that's actually gonna decrease your capacity to perform for most people.